afternoon. Election day is almost here. And there are the two brand name candidates and some third party candidates. The brand name candidates are John Cain, conservative socialist, and Barack Obama, liberal socialist. And amongst the third parties is Ralph Nader, independent, Chuck Baldwin, Constitution Party, Cynthia McKinney, Green Party, and Bob Barr, Libertarian Party. They're all running for it. Now, the reason I call McCain and Obama socialists is that they voted for the bailout, which is essentially capitalism demanding that socialism bail it out. And so the government is supposedly buying all of these uh, illiquid assets and problems from Wall Street. They're buying into it and giving Wall Street a bailout, a get-out-of-jail-free card, and it's not very good. I have called this World War III, actually. And where we're going with it is that in the olden days, wars were made by armies that advanced across land and territory. They took the land and territory because land was considered money. Land was assets. Now we're in a new day and age and the assets of today is the money on Wall Street. And whoever collects all that money is essentially conquerors. The wars are not fought with bombs and guns as much as they are fought with computers and with propaganda and uh, people buying and selling. And by the stock market falling, everything's becoming cheap. So that a government or Federal Reserve could buy all these things, thereby conquering them. So World War III is progressing, and we of the middle class are falling. Our 401ks, our 403bs, our mutual funds, whatnot. They're all victims of this. The thing is, it's not going to work. And the thing is, they're going to come back for more. And we have to be ready for it when they come back for more bailouts. So, I decided to leave those thoughts with you. Talk to your congressman. Tell them no more bailouts. No more bailouts unless... unless the interest of the national debt is forgiven. We have them over a barrel. Maybe even have the national debt forgiven. We bail them out. Think about it. Write to your congressman. And be sure to vote on November 4th. Those of you who have already sent in your absentee ballots, good for you. And we'll see you on Election Day, and we'll see who turns out to be president and what happens to Congress at that point. Because I'm sure people are getting upset by now. That's my um, news for today, and we'll be seeing you.